Hello everyone, this is the analysis for problem F, Islands from the Sky. So first I'll give you a brief introduction of the problem statement, then I'll proceed with an overview of the solution, and finally I'll give you the complete uh, solution. Uh, so first of all, in the problem statement, we are given an archipelago uh, in a 2D plane with n islands. Uh, there are at most 100 islands, and each of them can have at most 100 vertices, and they are represented by a polygon. Uh, in this scenario, we have M planes flying over this archipelago, and each of them have a camera in which they can view a region of this 2D plane. So they have a visibility projection on it. Uh, they are at most 100 planes, and we are given the star position X, Y, Z1, and the end uh, position X, Y, Z2 of said planes. Now, the problem uh, is that we want to uh, alter the angle in which the camera can view uh, uh, this 2D plane, and we want to see what is the smallest angle so that each of the islands is completely visible by at least one of the planes. So, uh, the overview of the solution is that we want to do a binary search on the angle theta. Uh, having one of the thetas fixed, we can then uh, first find a projection of the trajectory of the plane into the 2D, uh, into 2D uh, polygon. And then uh, we can proceed to see uh, and check which of the islands are covered with a uh, set angle theta. And if all the islands are covered, we can try to reduce the angle. And if at least one of them is not, we can increase the angle. So first, let's say that we already have done our binary search and we have a fixed angle theta. How do we find the 3D projection of our flight in the 2D planes? So we have four informations, the X and the Y, uh, Z and theta. So for the X and Y, we have the origin point and the destination one. And from this one, we can uh, create the trajectory line and trajectory path that we are taking. Now, uh, the Z and uh, theta can give us uh, the surface area that is visible by said plane. So with uh, a z height and a theta angle, we know that we can see up to the uh, tangent of theta to the, uh, to the sine. So now we can combine these two. So we have our flight trajectory uh, here, going from x1 up to uh, x1, y1 up until x2, y2. And horizontally, perpendicular to this, we have uh, our perpendicular line. And if with a z uh, tangent of theta, we have uh, two points here uh, delimiting our view. And by doing this both from the origin point and the destination point, we can create a polygon that corresponds to uh, this plane's visibility. Now that we know uh, for each of the planes how much they can view of these two planes, how can we see that one island is being fully covered by at least one of the planes? So we can separate this by first checking for each different plane and for each island separately. Now, uh, if you have a single plane in a single island, the problem is to find that one polygon is completely covered by another one, which is a common uh, classical algorithm. So in this algorithm, we can uh, isolate each of the points in uh, the island polygon and check that this single point is inside another polygon, which can be done uh, by um, checking um, um, half planes for each of the uh, lines that we have on the, uh, on sorry, each of the lines that we have on our uh, plane projection, which I, uh, I won't go into much more details. Um, so now that we have this, uh, so how, what does this leave us in the solution? So first we do a binary search on the angle theta, which has a lot of complexity. Now having uh, in a single iteration of this binary search, we have a fixed angle theta. And for this fixed angle, we can find what is the 2D projection of our plane flight, which is done in uh, constant time. Now we can find the coverage of uh, the islands. For each of the planes that we have and for each of the islands, we can check that this island is fully covered by this plane by checking all the points. And for each of these points, we can check that uh, it is, um, this point is, being, uh, is in the half plane that in, 
is uh, sorry, seeing that this point is inside the uh, trajectory polygon. So this uh, the full solution has a complexity of n square log n. For more from the ICPC World Finals DACA, follow us at news.icpc.global and on social media with our hashtag ICPCWFDACA.